Avoid the number one failure that causes DHS, Office of Inspector General, to recommend grant clawback and keep your hard-won grant funds working in your community. In our FEMA Quest game, and on our game cards, we call this the Land of Eleven. The reason is that there's 11 essential steps that will generate at least 11 documents. Get 11 documents and you're likely following grant management best practices. In this episode, we learn how to make big purchases with grant funds. My name is Christina Moore. I'm a member of a disaster relief grant management team that built Tempest Gems to help others through this process. We have responded to natural disasters since 2012 as experts in grant management best practices using grant management software. We're here to help you rebuild better. We are providing grant management best practices so you and your team will learn how to manage FEMA grant accounting basics. If you appreciate this presentation, please share it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell. What is a large purchase? A large purchase is defined in procurement policy, or it should be. If you have a policy, you should define this threshold. If not, you fall in your state's policy and their threshold. If they don't have one, then you use the federal policy. Federal policy uses the simplified acquisition threshold, which is normally $250,000. Some funny things happened to it during the spring of 2020. I looked up Arizona's policy. Their policy states that in the event of federal funding, their policy guidelines revert to the federal. If you live in Arizona, your threshold is that simplified acquisition threshold above. I looked up Virginia's policy. They did offer a definition, which is basically $100,000, section 2.2-4304, methods of procurement, G.1. That's a lot of words and gibberish. Let's make a shortcut. When in doubt, use a competitive procurement process. It takes 11 steps and costs a few dollars. With the COVID-19 emergency, there is printed guidance from FEMA about single sourcing. That guidance precisely follows the law and matches to CFR 200. It seems tempting to sole source, but please don't. It'll come around and sting years down the road. The warning is that FEMA and the OIG have a short memory. After a few lovelies abuse this process, there will be scrutiny on all of us. Single source seems attractive. People will have failures and rejection because some costs are not reasonable. Oops. In this episode, I'm going to go through the 11 steps as they relate to the policy. Then I'll show you how to set that up in Tempest Gems and how to use grant management software, provide guidance and scoring. You'll do best thinking of this as a game. Earn points here to protect yourself from bad stuff. And that is good. On the FEMA Quest competitive procurement hints and hacks card, you'll see the 11 steps needed for this effort. When making big purchases with grant funds, you'll want to follow this list. One, create a written rationale for the procurement method. Could be a memo, an email, a motion in a meeting. State you are using a competitive process because it is a large purchase. Two, create a bid packet with clear and complete instructions. For construction, this is a lot of work. For other goods and services, it can be simpler. Reference common phrases and definitions. Three, issue invitations to bid. Grab a copy or a screenshot of that effort in PDF. Four, invite disadvantaged business entities or whatever you call them in your state. Typically, you can email a state agency to send this out for you. Grab a copy of that email in PDF. Five, advertise publicly. Grab a copy or a screenshot in PDF. Six, Capture the proof of payment for an ad. If no paid ad, state that in PDF, of course. Seven, hold a public meeting to open the bids. Take minutes, make a PDF of the minutes and the attendance roster. Eight, validate the winning bid is not debarred in SAM.gov. Keep the PDF. Nine, do a bid tabulation or scoring sheet. Keep them all. Make a PDF. Ten. Write a letter of intent to the winner, and yes, keep a PDF of that. 11. Write a contract that includes all of the provisions that you find in your grant. Clean Water Act, Davis-Bacon, etc. That's 11. The land of 11. In the next episode, I'll show you how to use your tools to eliminate document headaches and make both reimbursement and closeout a lot easier. In Tempest Gems, we'll use the contract tool to help us Let's assume you've set up the vendor. That was covered in the small purchase episode. That's an easy step. You'll find vendors on the menu below the name of your applicant. The icon is a map pin. 
With the vendor defined, go to the Grants menu, then the Contracts menu as shown in the illustration. You'll add a contract, green buttons add. Select your vendor, then pick your contract type. This will be a sealed bid. Give it a name and save it. You can do all sorts of data entry or skip it. The system can track amounts and dates and such, up to you. Here is the contract scorecard. Each of the 11 steps are detailed. We have the reference to the law, 2 CFR 200. The eyeball icon shows you the exact text, and it can even take you to the government website for more detail. Each document you upload, you get a point. 11 steps, 11 documents. We are providing you a hints and hacks on competitive procurement. This serves as a reminder to avoid the pitfalls along the quest. Click the links below to download this guide. How do you upload the documents? Well, there's a documents option in the contract menu. You upload one document at a time to Tempest Gems. Tag it with the document type. That's what gets you the point. Rinse, wash, repeat. By that I mean upload, tag it, do it again. Probably about 11 times. Now, when you do your expense data entry, you can link that cost to a specific contract. There are cool reports in Tempest Gems that show you your contract expenses. And Tempest Gems shows you summaries and provides guidance. FEMA Grant Accounting requires this granularity. It'll keep your process moving. It is how you manage disaster relief grants. The sealed bid or competitive process is the most favored procurement process when managing FEMA assistance grants. There are 11 steps, and Tempest Gems provides you both the guidance and tools to help you keep score. These 11 steps ensure a successful closeout and optimized reimbursement and prevent issues with financial clawback. Did you find this helpful? Do you have questions? Let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of upcoming episodes. There is a link for our guides below. Please share this material with colleagues, post about us and our efforts on your favorite social media platform. And don't forget to grab the large purchase guide to help you get started with the FEMA Quest.